Hi, I'm Honda Pro Jason. Welcome to the Honda Pro Show. Watched by over 5.1 million people. Five, yeah, 5.1 million of you watching me talk about Honda. Awesome! Thank you guys so much. And in honor of our 5 millionth view, we're going to give you guys a double episode. That's right. Matt and myself are going to give you guys twice the news, twice the fun facts, and twice the prizes. So sit back, relax, enjoy, and let's get into it. Welcome to the Honda Pro Show. For those of you that don't watch the show regularly, we normally have three segments, a fun fact, and a giveaway. This week, we're gonna mix it up a little bit. We're gonna have about six or seven segments, two fun facts, and two giveaways. So it's going to get interesting, and we're gonna start out with this big lead story, which of course is Honda introducing the 10th generation 2016 Honda Civic at the New York Auto Show. Now let me tell you how this whole thing went down. Honda invited me out to New York, to the New York Auto Show a day before press day to show me something they were unveiling. And when I walked through this big black curtain and saw this big, bright, new energy green 10th gen Civic, I literally dropped to my knees. I was totally blown away. The car looks phenomenal. Every corner, every angle just looks outstanding. I have a full video and there's a link below. You guys can see exactly all the way around it. I did a full walk around. I have an interview with the lead designer, the exterior designer, his name's Guy. We spent a lot of time hanging out and talking and I have him on tape saying. It gives me great pleasure to say this, that the Type R is and will be coming to America. Enjoy. It is official folks that we are getting in the United States a Civic Type R. Yes, I have been talking about the Civic Type R coming to the United States for how long, Matt? About two years? Two years. It's been forever. And there were some doubters and there were some whatever, but it is coming. We're not sure when, but this is what's happening with the 10th generation 2016 Civic. There will be a coupe, there will be a four door, there will be a five door hatchback from the United Kingdom. Engines are going to be a naturally aspirated for the base model and then turbo is going up. So my prediction is the base model will have an NA motor, and then they're gonna to jump to a 1.5 turbo, and then the SI will probably get a variation of that 1.5 turbo, and then the Type R, I'm thinking it's gonna be a 2.0 turbo. So we're gonna see how this whole thing lays out. Autoblog and many other magazines rated the entire New York Auto Show, and they rated everything they saw and what they thought was the biggest boom, and guess what? Almost everyone agreed the 10th gen Civic in that new energy green was the number one hit of the entire show. So that's pretty awesome. The whole show was amazing. New York was great. And let's get in to our next story. In 2010, Honda introduced us to the Accord Crosstour, a five-door hatchback built off the Accord platform available in two-wheel or four-wheel drive. Soon after, they dropped the Accord name and just called it the Cross Tour. And now, they dropped the Cross Tour. I mean, completely. It's been discontinued. As of 2015, there will be no longer any availability of the Honda Cross Tour. So you Cross Tour fans, you better get them while you can. Something that everyone in the world has been talking about. The new Honda S660 just unveiled out in Japan and available for now only in Japan. But let me take a step back and clear something up for you guys. The Honda S660 is not a replacement or successor to the Honda S2000. It's actually loosely built off the Honda Beat from years ago, both being key cars. That's a small Japanese built car, good on emissions and a small engine. The new S660 is gonna come with a 660cc engine, and this is where it gets good. Turbocharged, mid-engine, rear-wheel drive, and the top it all off, the cherry on top of the Sunday, a convertible. This looks awesome, and what makes it even better are the rumors coming out of Japan now. 
rumors such as they're possibly looking into a 1.0 liter turbo for export. In my opinion, that'd be a great Miata fighter. And they're also talking about a Mugen edition, which would be awesome. Can you imagine a whole bunch of Mugen parts on a 1.0 liter convertible turbo? Mid-engine rear-wheel drive? Well, I'll keep you guys updated as more news comes out of Japan. I'm in front of the new Honda HRV Selfie Edition. Selfie Edition, this car has 10 selfie cameras in it. There's one right here in the front bumper. There's another one in the back. There's a bunch of them in the inside. So basically the idea here is while you're in park, you can stop and you can take pictures of yourself. And then they, I'm assuming they upload to some social media site or whatever, but it's cool. Come on in the back, I wanna show you this back one. It's really, really neat looking. So the back selfie camera is right back here. And the rest of them are all inside. So this is something I think that's really going to be the future of technology for Honda and I believe for the world. Perception versus reality. The perception of working a factory job normally isn't that glamorous. But the reality of working a Honda factory job isn't just glamorous. It's fun, it's safe, and you get to work on some technology that even astronauts would be jealous of. So Honda's out to change everyone's perception, and they're starting with the children. They're working with a company called Edheads, and what they have is they have an interactive tool online. It's a cartoon that you walk through. I actually walked through the entire thing myself. I took the test, I passed, and I learned quite a few things. So Honda has invested over a million dollars in training our children. So when they get older, they'll work at Honda factories. So if you guys have kids between first grade and eighth grade, I suggest you go on EdHeads, join, check it out, play with your kids on it, and I'll bet not only they learn something, I'll bet you learn something also. Most of us know the feeling of brushing snow off your car in the winter, but how would you like to brush off 100 inches of snow well, that's what happened in Boston when this lady got her car buried under 100 inches of snow over seven weeks. Well, she couldn't get her car out. She eventually waited for the snow to melt, revealing a slightly damaged vehicle. I mean, the front windshield was pushed in from all the way to the snow. There was also some body damage. But when she opened up that door to her Civic, put her key in the ignition, guess what? The car started right up. Honda of Europe never ceases to amaze me. With all their YouTube videos with the Type R, the Civic, and now this new CRV Endless Road video, man, you guys have to check this out. It's so cool. It shows a CRV going through this canyon road, but it never stops. It just keeps twisting and twisting and twisting. And if that wasn't enough, at the end of the video, click the link. You guys are going to be real surprised where it brings you and real entertained for quite a while. I'm going to put a link to both videos in the description below. It's time for some race news. The WTCC Honda Civic Type R, the one with 350 horsepower, the one I showed you last week that was all white. Well, it's not white anymore. It is totally covered with all sponsors graphics. And both of these cars look outstanding. Speaking of outstanding, I was invited to a Type R owner's clinic at the Nürburgring. Yes, in Germany. And yes, I'm going. It is going to be unbelievable. I can't wait to see the new Civic Type R, plus probably two to 300 other Civic Type Rs there. I'm gonna be taking tons of pictures, tons of videos, and I can't wait to show you guys everything that I see. Overseas news from India. It seems like Honda's working on a new seven passenger SUV for that country, built off the Mobilio platform. They're doing this to stay competitive with the other SUVs in the area. More information as soon as I get it. It's time for more awards. KBB has just announced that Honda has won the best overall brand award for 2015. That's our third year in a row. It's fun fact time. The Honda Beat had a 63 horsepower engine and was available with only one transmission, a five speed manual. And that's your fun fact of the week. It's fun fact time again. Honda's Greensburg, Indiana plant just produced their one millionth Honda. And that's your fun fact for the second time 
this week. Wow, what an awesome show. As many of you know, I run lots of contests, but not just here on YouTube. I also run them on Google+, Twitter, Facebook, even Instagram. And one of the recent contests I did was show me your pet in your Honda. And the winner was gonna get a picture of their pet in a Honda on a t-shirt I was gonna wear in this episode. Oh, this is the t-shirt. So congratulations to the winner. And because the show isn't always weekly, pay attention to all of my other social media pages. I update you guys daily on everything Honda. This week's giveaway is going to be massive. This is what I'm doing. I had picked up three very cool Honda hats. And the way you guys can enter to win one of these Honda hats is tell me what's on top of your head. Leave your creative comments below. I hope you've all enjoyed the double episode with the double news and the double fun fact and now the double giveaway. My friends over at S3 Magazine sent me six of these bumper stickers. I'm not giving these bumper stickers away. What I did was I signed my name on the back of one of these stickers. You guys in the comments below, guess which one I signed. And I'm going to be giving away three full subscriptions to S3 Magazine to three people who guess which of those bumper stickers I signed. I signed one sticker. You guys get one guess. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Until next time, I'm the Honda Pro, and now you're doubly in the know. Oh, I was just taking a couple pictures with the HRV selfie camera. Just kidding, guys. April Fools, but I'll bet I got some of you for sure on this one. <laughs>